Speed up. Two words. Simple. Spoken with authority. I swallowed hard. We were on a dirt trail cutting through African jungle. A one-lane road, but also a two-way road. No room to maneuver. I hesitated. Speed constant. Our truck barreled forward. Speed up. Just two words. But I've been with the man long enough to recognize the subtle differences when he spoke again. The first time, it was a command. The second time, I recognized the threat. I spared a quick glance to my side. Dark skinned, narrowed eyes, clutching his rifle. A quick flashback to the first time I'd met this man. Six days ago. He looked at me hard on our first encounter. He said there was one thing I needed to know. I was to follow orders. Immediately, without hesitation. If I did, I'd stay alive. If not, no promises. A hundred feet ahead, the object grew clearer. A man, lying in the road. I took my foot off the gas. I looked over. Speed up. The confidence of a man who knew what he was doing. The man who'd already made peace with the consequences of his decision. I swallowed again, and then did what I'd never thought I could do. I pressed the accelerator to the floor. Just two inches. I saw the man in the road look up. I saw surprise in his eyes. We hit him at 70 miles per hour. Two thumps, and we were on our way. The man to my side sighed, loosening his grip on his weapon. We drove in silence. Pulling into base camp, we disembarked. Enraged, flustered, scared, I moved towards my passenger threateningly. His eyes stopped me short. You killed the man. He said it with no more emotion than one could comment over the weather. My fists tensed. I wanted to hit him, to cry, to scream, but I couldn't move. And you saved us. His voice dropped to a whisper, and I heard something I had not heard in him before. Gratitude. He turned, walking towards the fire. I followed him, entranced. We met the others, filling our plates. We sat in the circle. My passenger, silent for a while, stared into the fire. I held my plate, unmoving. Six days ago, an Englishman, uneducated in the rules of African jungle, met my guide. I paid good money to take me into the jungle for an adventure. He agreed, as long as I followed every command, immediately. As the fire reflected off his eyes, he spoke. One of two things happened tonight. We came across a man, too foolish and reckless, and he got himself hurt on the road. He took a chunk out of his meat. Or, he was bait for an ambush, with friends in the trees who would kill us. He looked at me. Either way, he made a bad choice. We're alive. He's not. I nodded. His logic made sense. So today, 20 minutes ago, I killed a fool or a murderer. But now, I'm eating dinner. <laughs>